Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video I'm gonna show you my set of upgrades for any cubic Cosel Delta, so stay tuned. Alright, the first upgrade is the upgraded clips for the round glass bed, which now hold this round glass bed much stronger now and fix in one place. So if ever happened to you before to rip the whole glass with a print on, now it won't happen again. So thanks Joe Gatling for making this thing and publish on the Thingiverse. These clips are being printed with the ANAT A6, fully upgraded, so if you missed the video of upgrades for ANAT A6, make sure you check that as well. This is print in 20% infill and 0.2 resolution. Here I just wanna show you the quick video about how you can apply these upgrades as well. I'm using this inbus key just to make a distance reference. I'm trying to get the glass in the middle as much as possible and I apply all, all three clips. Clips are nice in the place and make sure that you push the glass down through this procedure just to hold it nice and level. Try to screw down all the screws equally and don't over tighten. Keep in mind this is PLA so this can crack as well. Nice. Now this is rock solid now. This glass will not move, definitely. No more. Awesome. This is a closer look of all clips. So you can see how they are mounted. Moving to next one. This is a lower cover for the belt. They are looking cool and they are very easy to print and install as well. To install one of those covers you just slide them in between the belts and then slide them down and just click them in a place. And the last one. Done. Installation just can be more easier. Alright, close up look. And it's done. Awesome. Now moving up. If you noticed on the right side, now there is no extruder. I moved the whole extruder on uh, up of the frame. And this is how my top of the frame look like. And next upgrade is this end cap cover. I print this with my CR10, upgraded. And this is printing 0.2 resolution and 10% infill. And I print all these three clip one by one. So there is option in Acura that you can use and print parts one by one. But keep in mind that you have to have a space between the parts to avoid any collide with the nozzle. And once again for installing these uh, end cap covers you just clip them in a place. It just can be more easier. When you hear the click sound you're good to go. And thanks to Peaberry from Thingverse who made these end caps. Good job. Alright, moving to next upgrade. This is a spool holder with a gear bearing. All print in PLA. For printing this gear bearing I use my uh, Anycubic i3 Mega. 0.2 resolution and 20% infill. 
This pool holder is again print with a E3 Mega, 20% in frill. Speed is around 40 mm per second. No special settings are necessary. Holder brackets are print with my TiVo Black Widow, 0.2 resolution and 20% infill. And now a quick video about installation. I use just one screw per side, of course you can put two if you want but not necessary. And it spins very nice. Alright, now moving on. Finally, no more filament on the side, it spins very nice. If we look now onto this side, this is how that I feed my, my printer. I flip the extruder and you have to make some extensor to this cable as well because this is short so i decided to cut them and make extension cable for the extruder i did by the way order the longer four pins cable for the extruder but i didn't receive it for more than two weeks and i didn't have no choice but no big deal all right the cable is now done and I install it nice and snug inside this extrusion and I apply some cable covers as well. Before extruder I install this teflon tube to make a nice path and fold down to the hot end. Nice. Well, I gotta admit, it's really looking cool now. I don't know about you guys, but I like it. And one more thing I forgot to mention is that I ordered this BL Touch as well, which I am looking forward to install on my Cosel as well. This will go on the right side or maybe on the left, not really sure right now. And I'm still waiting for my extension cable, so auto level is right now on the hold. Too bad, but I did print this holder for it. So I can't wait to get my extension cable and install this auto level as well. Alright guys, that was my video about upgrades on any cubic cost cell delta. I hope that you find this video useful, if you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I catch you next time.